today we will be making like nine types of toast. We have an array of ingredients. Let me take you through the process. Right here, we have our base canvas. Um, we have a bagel that's been lately dipped in egg. Um, we have some chips. I'll tell you what we're doing with these chips later. Next up, we have some Philadelphia cream cheese for the bagel, of course. Bushes, baked beans, a can of tiny shrimp, ranch dressing, mayonnaise, everything bagel seasoning, a bell pepper, an avocado, a tomato. And those are all the ingredients. He and take it away with the first toast. I guess we'll just get into our first toast of the day. Um, we'll start with the bagel, I think. I think that will be a nice place to start, you know? First thing we need to do is cut up this bell pepper. Next up, we need to spread the cream cheese onto the bagel. First bagel. Perfect. There we go. Alright, now let's put some bell pepper on here. Is that too bright? There, okay. Now, what you guys didn't know is that this whole time, there was a tier list. That's right. So, right here, we have bagel toast. And we're going to rate these, starting with bagel toast. Okay, there's a big bite, a lot of cream cheese in that one. So, that was actually really good, and I actually really like that. I think it's safe to say, we'll put it in an A. I'm also gonna be honest, I did not have a plan for disposal. One second, I need to get something. Hopefully a trash can. I should have done that. Um, I didn't though, I didn't come back to the trash can. I looked up like list of toasts or toast types and a Wikipedia article came up. Um, and I kid you not, on this Wikipedia article was literally toast sandwich. Um, so I'm gonna make that really quick for you. It's not all that complicated. If you don't put butter on your toast like this, don't talk to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Toast sandwich. I guess let's see how it tastes, guys. And put it on the tier list. Here we go. Something has to be on the bottom of the list, man. Why is this a thing? Like, was it during a famine or something? I, I don't know what you expect. It's literally two slices of bread and one slice of toast. We've hit rock bottom as a society. E tier. Because something might be worse. God forbid. Next up, it's called O.M. McQuitt. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's essentially just tomato rubbed onto bread. I'm going to rub this on the toast. So that did not work. Okay, I think this is how you do it. I think you have to like spill the guts out and use it as like a jam. Now we have our piece of toast. I don't wanna do it too much because it's kind of liquidy. Yeah, it's really just like the guts of the tomato, the seeds and the juices, the pulp. Um, let's take a bite. I think right here's a good bite. Um, it wasn't too bad, you know. I think the salt really did help. I probably didn't make it correctly. So I, honestly, I'm not a big fan. I think it's gonna go E tier. Actually, let's just do D. Because it's at least more effort and thought than toast sandwich. Now, next up, before it gets cold, um, I had my dad make this earlier while I was setting up the stream. Um, it is called... It, it's not as warm as it was before. But here's what my dad made, you know. It's pretty easy. I think it's a good uh, breakfast thing. Mm. 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 Ah. Anyway, it's, you know, I think it's a reliable meal and purely just for that, we're gonna stick it in B tier. 
you know, depending on how you make it and how you make your eggs, you know, it can really range in how people make it. Beans on toast. a whole piece of meat. Wait, that's bacon. Why is there bacon in my beans? The bacon is actually what gives the beans their flavor. Oh, that's the flavor. Okay, I get it. Do you typically use, um, Bush's baked beans? No. Baked beans by Heinz. No, okay. That, it looks so bad. Ew. First bite, uncooked beans. It's probably fine, honestly. <laughs> so, it was actually a lot better than I had originally thought. Um, yeah, there's multiple factors that went into it. Um, depending on the type of beans that you use, I used Bush's baked beans. Um, you know, it really depends on the flavor. Now, I think that all beans are made equal. Um, much like dogs. So I think I'm going to put it in B tier. Below egg in a basket, you know. I think that's the right choice to, to make it. Speaking of avocado toast, let's make avocado toast. I'm just going to mash an avocado. Like, I'm not going to be making guacamole. Although I could. I make a bomb-ass guacamole. Now, what I do when I mash... We're just going to leave that there. Um, is I... You gotta stab it like your grandmother. Now, what this does actually is it breaks the tension and integrity of the avocado with the sound. Now that you've done that, you get to mash it like that. Gorgeous avocado toast right there. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's get a bite right up here at the corner. Now, it's got a fair amount of seasoning from the everything bagel and a fair amount of avocado. Avocado toast. Some say the champion of the champion the the I'm trying to think of something. I got it guys. Um um the champion breakfast item in California in the United States. This is really good. Um so good I would say it's going in S. Um now I do want to make an adjustment. I don't think bagel toast is an A tier anymore. Honestly. We're gonna switch it out. Just like that. Boom. Next up, we have what's called Toast Sky Gen. Sky. Dude, they smell awful. I am not hopeful. I'm not either. Well, actually, I'm hoping. That this is good. I'm, you know, kind of scared right now about what's about to happen to me. I'm going to put more mayonnaise on this. I'm going to. Without a doubt. There will be more mayonnaise on this piece of toast. It's good content, man. That's why I'm doing it. It's good content. And I need to remember that. I would rather taste mayonnaise... Like, a lot of mayonnaise instead of this. There you go. In three... Two... One... Like, it's, it's not even the taste, really. Like, it was a lot of mayonnaise. I just couldn't swallow it.
Like, it looks a lot better on here, man. It really does. They have calamari, some garnish. They probably did it the right way, but I just put stuff on a piece of bread. Um, yeah, that's F tier. Um, something worse than toast sandwich. All right, well, next up, we have what I like to call the key in the log toast. Um, but it was supposed to be ranch dressing, sour cream and onion chips, and pickles. Put these on here. Let's put a nice little layer of ranch dressing. Oh, dude, you're joking. It just put a huge glob on my mouse pad on my desk, dude. Dude, it's so much. Let's try the key in the log toast. You know, I thought it would have been better. I really did, but it... Disappointing. It was better than the shrimp and toast sandwich. Um, so... This is my toast here list for toast giving this year. I think this is a very good list. I've gone through a lot today, I really have. Um, I think maybe more than the average human goes through. 